teachers are in a class by themselves. Morning. <laughs> I hope everybody is good. Today, we're going to be doing uh, the Briggs, uh, the Myers and Briggs personality quiz. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's to try and figure out you know, your likes, your dislikes, who you are. Apparently, according to Myers and Briggs, I just did the quiz and I am an entertainer. I am an entertainer. I, um, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> but um, your personality has an impact on, on your life and, and even the jobs that you might choose. You know, for example, you know, if I have a student who maybe they can't sit still, like for me, I find it very difficult staying in the same place. I like moving around um, and other people like that, too. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, if if people are having, you know, if they're wanting to do, you know, a specific job for myself, like, you know, if I decided, like, I just think I want to be a doctor because it pays a lot of money. Well, I don't have the personality for that. I can't sit down and like study science and all this stuff and chemistry for hours and hours. I just wouldn't do it. So that wouldn't be a job for me as an entertainer. Um, you know, I, I have more of a social, you know, mixing with people and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm going to go over the uh, the quiz uh, and how it's done and, and why we're doing it. Um, and I'll do that in, in a second. But there, what I'm trying to get to is we're trying to like our next unit will be moving into trying to figure out like different kinds of jobs and through the quiz and through the careers quiz and the personality quiz, I'm hoping to be able to help people figure out things that they might like to do, not necessarily as a co-op placement, but we're going to be creating a virtual co-op placement. So I think it's better for us to sort of like think about, you know, more long term or future planning, um, you know, whether you want to go from high school to work, high school to an apprenticeship, college or university, all those kinds of things, those are the things that I'm sort of leading up to. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm just going to turn me off here and then I'm going to go over the uh, activity. All right. Thank you. And um, they emailed me back my results. Uh, as I was saying before at the very beginning, um, I always recommend people creating a secondary email uh, when they're doing any of these kinds of things. That way you don't end up getting you know, junk mail from different things. And just to protect your own privacy. So that's what I used. I used my, my junk email. Um, and, and I didn't put any personal information in there because I'm always looking after that. You know, I just want to make sure all that's covered. So, um, this is the Myers and Briggs personality uh, quiz, um, and I did it twice. I did it in, in this particular link because it's a little bit different, and I did it in this website as well, the Type Finder personality test. Both tests are based on, on, on the Myers and Briggs uh, uh, original tests, um, but they're sort of organized a little bit different, um, but basically the same thing. And my results were fairly consistent between the two tests, when I did it on this particular link and when I did it on this particular link, because the questions are very similar. Um, I'm an entertainer and personality. And if I go over to this one here, I scroll down, um, it has the same code ESFP and they call it the performer. Um, and the, the qualities between the performer and the entertainer are basically the same qualities. Um, and also the ENFP, the champion, uh, again, it's very, you know, sort of people-centered, you know, who I am around people, all that kind of stuff. And also the, they also have a link here for uh, the healer. Um, and I'm a, a little bit less on that when I go through the data. I'm a little bit lower on that. I'm more either in these two, okay? So... Um, um, so you, you go through here, we have the introduction and it tells me, it gives me a little quote here. So for the entertainer, um, I'm selfish, impatient, and a little insecure. I make mistakes. I'm out of control and at times hard to handle, but if you can't handle me at my worst, then you surely don't deserve me at my best. 
Marilyn Monroe. Nothing like a good quote. Um, okay, so once you go through this, it's got the strengths and your weaknesses uh, as entertainers. Like um, it'll give you a list of different kinds of things, and there might be some useful information there. Is stuff on relationships, friendship, parenthood, uh, career paths is really what what we want. I mean, you can look at these if you want. It's kind of entertaining. It's fun. Um, but uh, don't take all these tests too seriously as well. So when you do a test like this, you may get different data or you may get different results. He was just trying to figure out, you know, like different kinds of things that you might like to do. So if I go under career paths and I click on that, then it'll give me uh, a, def a, a little paragraph description of what um, an entertainer is, uh, you know, that I like to have a good time and have fun and that, you know, the kinds of uh, areas that I might find myself working in. Uh, you know, event planners, sales, trip planners, tour guides. Oh, I would, you know, when I retire, I think I would be a really good tour guide. Just going along on the bus, you know, you get the tour bus and you're standing on the bus, you got the microphone and everybody's sitting in there in there on the on the bus and, I, and you got to describe all the different you know things around the city i think that would be fun i think i could i could get into that as a as a second uh, career pathway um and so it just gives you some different things to read through not just sort of read through the career path and then also on work habits you can look through that as well and the different kinds of things you know things that you like to do in work habits i'm, I'm unorganized um, that would be one of my work habits, as mentioned. Um, <laughs> uh, so have a look through those things, and then you're going to go and complete the quiz. So I'm only putting the link for this particular quiz. I did both of them because I just wanted to test how accurate they were. So I did the two different ones based on the Myers and Briggs personalities. So it says it takes 12 minutes. Be yourself. Answer everything honestly. Try not to leave any neutral answers. This is one of the things I did on, on this, is I left a few neutral. I couldn't make a decision between whether I agree or disagree. If you can't, then definitely click neutral. But, you know, if you think about it for a second, you know, sometimes you might just like, ah, I agree with that, I disagree with that. And you just go along and you click all these. And when you finish, you click next. At the end of it, it's going to ask you for an email. It'll mail you your results. And if you have a secondary email, I highly recommend that. And that's it. That's it. So uh, after you've done all that and you've gotten your results, you're going to go back to the assignment sheet there. And you're just going to type out a little reflection and think about um, how, you know, how these personalities and all these different things that are listed in here, whether they're accurate, inaccurate, and just write about that. We're going to be using this information, as I said earlier, to figure out like what kind of virtual co-op you might want to do. Um, and that's it. All right. Perfect.